Okay, I make a motion to open up the uh, Board of Health meeting this evening. I'll second that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, Sherry, what do we got? Okay, um, the um, the MDAR nomination for the Inspector of Animals. You've already nominated Kevin Sullivan. Um, that was probably about a month, about a month ago. But remember, yep. I had said he wanted to nominate. He wanted to have nominated a few other people, yep. and um, you questioned as to who wanted who was um, being presented presented. Sorry for nominations as well as why. So I I don't know if you saw the letter. So he wants to um, have Susan Banner, Noah Tellier and Diana Allen all nominated as animal inspectors for the town of Millville. And this is because he said, since Millville regionalized with Blackstone, Oxbridge, Menden, Douglas and Hopedale, there are additional um, there are additional animal control officers on duty. Nominating additional officers as animal inspector for Millville will allow the ACOs to streamline the quarantine process when an officer is already on call. So he's saying like if somebody's already on call and they had to uh, quarantine an animal, yeah, the only person that can do that is an animal inspector. So. Um, what would, would that do to our budget? Nothing. It's just all regionalized. He doesn't get paid for being ACO. No, yeah, that wouldn't affect us. Uh, I tried. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. So if he needs. Okay, so um, it's that. If you look at the email, it's that. Uh, the nomination of animal inspectors form that yep. needs to be signed and notarized. So I suppose you just need to nominate, uh, make it um, a motion to nominate them to animal inspector. Kathy, I'm all right with it. I'm I mean, fine with that if you want to make the motion. All right, I make the motion to nominate well, the listed people that Kevin requested be nominated for animal inspectors. And they will have to, what, sign up at the town and they they would actually get their uh, stipend or whatever they get for whatever instead of Kevin? It, whoever would be on duty if the animal needed to be quarantined. But it's uh, this is through the, actually the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Agricultural and Resources, um, and there, like I said, this isn't any cost to the town. All right. Well, I did make the motion for so Kathy. If you are all they right, just with need to, they just need to sign on it, have it notarized, and then I send these forms back to the state. Yeah. All right. He made the motion. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that one's done. Okay, so that was easy. Uh, the next is I just copied um, the results of the EST. They send in this report uh, yeah. periodically, and um, there's nothing really that's standing out. Um, so I didn't know if you had a chance to look it over. It's just it's pretty much just for you to look it over. Yeah, I'll look it over. It's usually the same all the time. Maybe at some point we could start looking to see if we can cut back on, I'm not sure what the state reg is for us having to keep maintain, you know, maintaining the, but we'll see. Um, all right, I can do that. State regs. Well, at some point, just see if uh, we can start cutting back. I mean, how- Hey guys, I'm here, sorry I'm late. All right, Bobby's here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bobby. Right, because see what is what um, required at this point. Uh, cutting back or what is required. All right. And 
because I know you're, you're supposed to do, I know when it was capped off. I, I, don't, I don't know when it was capped off that there were statutory requirements. Um, so I can look that over again and I can reach out to them to see where we are with that. All right. Um, other than that, I have uh, business certificates that are in the drawer, but I also uh, scanned them, sent them to you as well. So if you have any questions on those, um, they've already, this is just a sign off from the Board of Health. Yeah. They've already got their business certificate, but they, it just goes around to all the departments to see whether you approve, disapprove. Do you, okay. you have any issues? Like one, for example, is East Coast Labradors. It's a breeding business. They got a kennel license through the um, town clerk's office. The other one's Anchor Chimney Sweeps. Um, it's probably most like office at the home. Pine Tree Concrete. Prod, um, products. The only thing that I saw on there was they have up to 500 gallons of diesel fuel and 275 gallons of kerosene. I can't they add. But they've been in business, so they probably just had to renew their license. Yeah. Um, and then Cedar Hill Farm. Um, Larry Pearson. It's farming. I don't know if he maybe he's. I don't know what they do there. All right. No, I. I I'll look right. at them. I haven't had a chance to look at them, but I'm generally there isn't an issue. No, there shouldn't be. Uh, so the they're already out in the um, file to be signed. Okay. And uh, there's a few other things in that need to be signed, as well as I think one Title Five to review. All right, I will try um, to get. Okay, and the other thing, uh, as far as correspondence, is National Grid. Um, they just talk about their yearly operational plan. Um, to carry out late winter spring mechanical control cut surface or basal treatment, a summer selective foliage treatment, and as necessary summer, fall, CST, and basal treatments. All right. This is just a cut. This is what they do every year to. Um, says, please let us know if there are any additional sensitive areas that they should be aware of. It's just to cut back on the uh, vegetation and they use herbicides. Yeah. This is pretty standard every year. So it's just asking basically if you have any other areas that you'd like to suggest that may be sensitive. So it's just a notice, but we get that notice every year. Yeah. Um, that's the herbicide spraying. So, so that correspondence. And as far as that, basically uh, it's the minutes that I sent you. Minutes. I read through them, they were fine. Did you read the minutes, Dustin or Bobby? Um, no, I guess I have to. Let me, but um, again, I can't or say I did because I didn't. So, okay. Well, you can um, look them over when I can put them two weeks from now. All right. Able two weeks. Yeah, there were a lot, so going to take a little time to read them. Other than that, that's it. All right. I, uh, I'm good with that. So uh, 
I guess I uh, make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that, Dustin. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, and Bobby said aye. he didn't get to it, but we are now adjourned. No, I did. All right, All right. thank you. Thank right. you.